Having anesthesia can be unsettling for anyone, but older patients in particular may face higher risk. Dr. Richard Bush joins us now with more in our Medical Minute. So what are some of the risk factors associated with someone who is an elderly patient getting anesthesia? Well, they're, they're not exactly sure what causes the problem, whether it's just the stress of surgery or whether it's the stress of the medication and or some of the proteins that are actually in the, the anesthetic itself, which kind of bind to some of the, the, the binding sites that are, that, are in the ner that are neurologically in the cells. Um, so basically those are things that, that, that could be part of the, the problem. It also could just be genetics or just a predisposition to that, that type of thing. One of the reasons that I find this interesting is because I've dedicated my life to helping people avoid needless and unnecessary surgeries. Mm -hmm. And so this kind of goes along with that. The last thing we want to do is, is put anybody at risk. Um, I, I found this very interesting because I've had several patients that actually have had surgical procedures and they didn't come out of it or they, they, they developed a, a dementia um, following that procedure. Um, you know, so obviously it's something that if we can avoid it, we want to make sure that we do that. Um, you know, at the same time, again, they, there are different risk factors for, for those types of things. Some of them can be habits that we have. Um, other things can, can, can involve things like uh, 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 um, some of the things that we eat or drink, mm -hmm. and those can actually predispose you to different types of dementia as well. So those are all risk factors that we have to take into consideration. Well, and, and explain exactly what this disorder is called and what the symptoms are, kind of what happens. It's post-operative. You just caught me oh, there. Post, <laughs> post, <laughs> post operative cognitive, cognitive disorder, disorder dysfunction. Disorder, yeah. Exactly. And so basically, it's it, it, it's like a lot of different dementias or Alzheimer's. You know, those are those are different types of, of, of things that that people may be predisposed to. And some of that can be familial or you know passed on from generation to generation. But then along with that, we also have to deal with with some of the other things that that, that are in our life. Whether it's whether it's the foods that we're eating or even some of the pesticides and herbicides that, that we can actually be affected by as well. And there have been some studies. That have there have there, there there have been some studies. They they're not sure exactly what the right number is. Um, they figure it's somewhere between 10 and 50 percent of the patients that are that are over the age of 60 um, that, that predisposes them to this type of a problem. Uh, you know, one of the things that, that that we do see with that is obviously if you can avoid it, you want to. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Bush, thank you so much for coming in today for our Medical Minute. And you can find out more about how general anesthesia can affect older patients' minds at Bush Chiropractic. I'll send it back to you, Pat.